Hi everyone, in this video we'll change the oil filter element on this assembly and it's pretty simple, you don't have to remove any component to access the oil filter, it's right here. They've even specified the torque required for tightening it. Unfortunately, although I've got the torque wrench, I do not have the socket for this. It's not the same socket that's used on the diesel engines. So we'll just use a pump plier. Get some clothes. The oil is bound to be hot, so and plus we've got some going down, so that's a good lesson learned. get another cloth so this is your oil filter assembly and this is your filter element we've got these three o-rings but then again i did not receive these two o-rings in this uh, uh, filter element uh, replacement which i got uh, from boot why not an important lesson learned guys uh, when you are removing this oil filter just keep some cloth uh, around it so the oil will not spill into the alternator assembly. In our case, it did. That's a big lesson learned. Okay. While replacing oil filter elements it's always a good idea to have it you know primed once not really recommended and not really necessary but I always prime the oil filter once uh, by dipping it in fresh uh, oil that you intend to replace yeah so the new oil filter is in replace these uh, this particular o-ring because we only have one replacement o-ring with us again dip it in uh, fresh oil so that's it and there's one last thing that you should do you have to Soak out all this uh, remaining engine oil from this. Once you're done, replace the filter assembly back. Hand tighten it as much as you can. That's all. So that brings us to the closure of this uh, oil filter uh, changing exercise.